part. Key thing is Internet of Things search is network. So the question is how to network. By definition, Internet of Things supposed connect the things. All right, here we have a cup T and have a part. So would it make sense? I put the two wire, one here, one there. It didn't make much sense because those things were kind of dummy. So directly connect physical objects together didn't make any sense. So really internal things is, you're not really connect things itself, but connect something else. What do you really want to connect? Now, if I put a sensor in your cup, try to sense the temperature, and send a signal somewhere to an electronic switch, which controls if I should heat water or not heat water, this started making sense. So you can see that although wire, from wiring point of view, the wire still go to the cup, but actually the wire go to the sensor, all right? Although the wire go to the teapot, actually it go to the teapot switch rather than anything else. So from here, really, what we really want to connect is the relevant information of physical objects. So you're not really not connecting physical objects rather than connecting the information of physical objects. The information can be divided in two kinds. One is the static information, okay? The, the, uh, the water is hot or cold, or the control information to turn on or turn off the switch. So in this sense, the internet of things really is integration of censoring, computation, and control. Most people would agree this definition, but people start see a different opinions or get confused on how to really do it. So before we talk about Internet of Things, because by definition, Internet of Things, we already have Internet, as the President Wico said correctly, we only add of things to try to emphasize that this is something like Internet rather than Internet of Computers, is Internet of Things. So I think we should learn something on what is really Internet? Why Internet is so great? Why we don't say Internet of, say, uh, chairs, right? So let's look at Internet. We know Internet is great, but by definition, we know Internet, if you call to WEP, I think maybe, maybe, maybe WEP people here, Internet really is a system connect information devices, servers, computers, your cell phone, etc., etc. The question is, before Internet, did we have such a system? Uh, unfortunately, I see many here, young faces here, you guys uh, after 7-0, after 8-0, 70, so all this picture for you looks too antique, okay? So I'm sorry, I had to be here, yi lao, mai lao. So the, the conclusion, so you had to accept what I told you. Conclusion is, we do have system which connect information devices, such as a telegram system, jiao dian bao. Okay, I think this, is a, this word soon will be deleted from dictionary because nobody use it, right? Then, replaced by something more internet words like a hold, a cool, those kind of things. We have a telephone, certainly, but it's a different telephone system. Not your cell phone system is using some kind of switch human try to plug in and so on. So, so internet, really not something new. Internet connect information devices. We had them for a long time. Okay, probably before World War II, we have such a system. What's special here? Special is all these systems, telegram systems, telephone systems, they are built for special purposes. Telegram systems only for sending telegrams. Telephone only sending for telephones, okay? Also we have telex or let's say the broadcast system, et cetera, et cetera. So all these things exist. But why the internet makes such a big deal? Okay, why nobody remember Telegram anymore? Why nobody actually even gradually remembers fax, uh, telex anymore? Because internet really made the difference. 
Now, first of all, let's talk about those lexicisms. Those lexicisms building from scratch. If you're familiar with the telegram system, okay, this is for you guys, this is an antique story. So what a telegram system? First of all, you go to the Bureau of Telegram to fill in a paper, which says the address is, you know, my dad in Lanzhou and this address. And you say, hello, I'll come back with the trans 345 and please pick me up. All right, then a special operator using special devices, DDD, da, 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 send over. When the telegram reaches Lanzhou, a person literally translate this binary code into the text and ride a motorbike, go to your home and give that to your dad. You can say, oh, this is too bad. And today I can just send, uh, uh, I can just send him an email or send him a Duanxin. Uh, at that time, that's a telegram. And each character costs you. Okay, so today Duanxin is probably only 10 cents. At that time, a character probably costs you a dollar, something like that. But nevertheless, the telegrams in the building such a way, they have their own wire, they have their own device, they have their own protocol. So from physical layer up to the service layer, everything is special and it's a vertically integrated. The, the wires for sending telegram only will transmit the telegram. The device only works for telegram system. If you want to make that device, make a phone call, that definitely won't work. Okay, the whole protocol is designed that way. Similarly for telephone system, fax system, uh, broadcast radio system, all that way. Okay, so it's not replaceable. You have a radio, you have radio. Today, you know, when you have a cell phone, you can listen to the radio. At time, you cannot. You buy a radio. Okay, it costs you. So all this is a vertically integrated. Result is good or bad. They all have independent resources. They don't disturb to each other. Okay, when you say the telegram, the guy send the guy sending fax is totally separate. And they have a specialized protocol and architecture is completely closed. Uh, telegram only for telegram, telephone only for telephone. And the applications are dedicated, right? It's not general purpose. So what internet did is say rather each those lack system for special purpose vertically integrated. What the internet did is they cutting through in the middle. I have a some pointer here. This is a pointer. Okay. So on top you have all those services. Email is literally replacing your telegram system, and the web replacing your broadcast system, and you have internet right in the middle. You can transmit anything to anything, anywhere to anywhere through the internet. And protocol is a journal. And in networking is horizontal. Everything can, can plug in. So this is why the internet is so great. It has a unified architecture for all. And it tremendously reduces the cost because the resources are shared. So now let's go back to Internet of Things. As we said, we're supposed to integrate sensing, computation, and control together. The question is, do we have those kind of systems now? Have we built those systems? Answer actually is yes. Okay. For example, you heard so-called smart grid. Basically, the system controls power grids. We have a traffic control system. We have environmental protection system. We have a disaster recovery. Many people are building those systems today. They actually call those are Internet of Things system. But in my opinion, those are IoT, but those are specialized IoT, okay? It's easy to build, it's very easy to make money, but from network point of view, this is just a legacy system, just specialized networks. The result is all these systems were using special protocols and they are vertically integrated. You can imagine it's the same game or same thing, okay? So they all have a problems. They are tightly coupled, and they repeat many implementations of common functions. Result is it's very costly because resource cannot get shared. So it's really good for administrators, mayors, governors, build such a system, demonstrate they achieve something, 政绩工程, 
Okay, but it's really bad for public fund being used and promote fundamental networking technology and the fundamental uh, theory in computing. So what we should do, I guess you can guess, we really should abandon those specialized protocols vertical integration approach. We should try to build a general protocol horizontally networked internet of things. It's literally like what the internet did for information devices. What we want is internet-like network which you can plug in uh, the devices relevant to the physical objects. So this is something we want to do. Now, how can we do that? This is a big deal now. So that's what we go to the next one is to talk about how can we realize IoT. Uh, so this is more or less engineering problem now, right? So